Hi, I'm Dr. Mora, naturopathic doctor. Continuing my series about gut health. Today we're gonna to talk about leaky gut. Now, as we've said in the past, a healthy gut is really foundational to health. Chances are that if your gut's in good shape, then you're feeling good, you're feeling healthy. Leaky gut, however, leads to a whole host of problems in the body, and we'll talk about those symptoms in a few minutes. But let's talk a little bit about what leaky gut is. So, typically the small intestine is where your body assimilates nutrients, blocks large molecules like toxins and pesticides and bacteria from getting into the bloodstream. And the mechanism by which it does this is called the tight junctions, which line the small intestine. They kind of look like this. And when your small intestine is in good shape, they're, they're together, they're, they're locked. Now, different things can cause these tight junctions to become unlocked. Things like medications, Tylenol, ibuprofen, antibiotics, birth control, heavy metals, uh, bacteria, pesticides, foods that your body doesn't like, stress, all of these things can cause this unlocking. Now we call this intestinal permeability or leaky gut. When that happens, things that are coming into your body, whether it's uh, toxins, whether it's food, these large molecules migrate prematurely into the bloodstream. Now when they get into the bloodstream, your immune system is ignited. Your body has to get rid of these things that they don't recognize essentially. And so the immune system ignites and creates a lot of inflammation to flush these out of the bloodstream. What's left behind is this inflammatory process. And the symptoms associated with this, with this are numerous. There are a whole host of symptoms and diseases associated with leaky gut. Everything from GI symptoms to bloating, gas, constipation, diarrhea in some cases. We see skin issues like eczema and psoriasis, even fatigue, depression, anxiety, brain fog, very prevalent with leaky gut. Autoimmune diseases like Crohn's disease, autoimmune thyroiditis, rheumatoid arthritis, also we see associated. In my patient population, I see a lot of weight gain and metabolic issues. Syndrome X has also been associated with leaky gut. So there's many, many things that you wouldn't think are correlated, but do have a basis in this intestinal permeability issue. There is a way to test for leaky gut, and it's called the six hour mannitol lactulose test. So typically lactulose, as it travels through the small intestine, it's a large molecule and your body should just pass it through. People with leaky gut tend to uh, allow the migration of lactulose through those tight junctions. So we essentially with this test, we collect the urine over a six hour period and see how much lactulose has been passed through and it should be in a specific range. Now we also test for mannitol. You know, mannitol is another sugar that you ingest before doing the six hour urine test. And mannitol is a measure of transcellular uptake. So essentially we compare the ratio of these two sugars in the urine over a six hour period of time and if it falls within normal range, then your gut is in good shape, no leaky gut. But if you're outside of range, we can de basically deduce that there is an issue with intestinal permeability. So leaky gut, it sounds so dire, but really it's not, it's very treatable. We have a lot of tools at our disposal in naturopathic medicine to heal the lining of the gut. But really the first step is to identify what's causing the leaky gut in the first place, whether it's yeast or bacteria, some food or drug. And we're gonna talk about all of that in the next video. How do we treat leaky gut and get rid of all these symptoms for good? I look forward to seeing you then.